now people are headed outside to celebrate Juneteenth. A year after President Biden made it a federal holiday, more than 30 states have not authorized the funding that would allow for state employees to take the day off. Only 18 states have passed bills that would provide the funds. But celebratory events are taking place this weekend. Our crew in Memphis gives us a look at one of the festivities. There was strolling, team dancing, shopping, and much more celebrating the end of slavery in the United States. I'm just super excited to see the unity that has taken place in our city. This is the second year the celebration has been held at Health Sciences Park, where the remains of Confederate slave trader General Nathan Bedford Forrest and his wife were once buried, and a statue of the KKK Grand Wizard once stood. It's no longer a park that we think about how our black people were enslaved by a young man, but now we look at how we're together as one black and white. The holiday is also giving family a chance to connect. We spoke to a pair of friends who recently found out they are actually related. We are all human and we all share DNA. You know, we, we're, we just come from different backgrounds, but we just never know how close we are. And that's what we found out last year. They also learned their ancestry traces back to before the slaves were freed. It was crushing to find out I was related to plantation owners. And for the longest time, I thought I was just English. And when I found out I was one of the children, it was healing. At today's celebration, there was a temporary outdoor museum with information reminding people to why we celebrate Juneteenth. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.